Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode in a brand new series of Java Game Development. We're going to be using this series so I can teach you guys how to create a game from scratch with pure Java code. Um, a 2D game. I might do a 3D game series later on, you guys tell me in the comments below, but don't expect any time soon, I'm still learning that kind of stuff as well. Uh, this episode is going to be fairly simple. It's just going to be installing Java and installing the editor that we, well, not really installing, downloading the editor that we are going to be using. Uh, but this stuff is really essential, and there's going to be people, possibly even you. It's not bad to be this way. Um, it's perfectly fine. You gotta start somewhere that don't know how to install Java and don't know how, or and don't know which editor to get or how to install that or download that. If you're one of those people, please continue watching. And if you're not, um, you could watch. I'm going to give. I'm going to try to give some helpful tips along the way of how things work, uh, if I think of them. Uh, but it, there's nothing wrong with not knowing how to do what we're about to do. Anyway, let's open up an internet browser. I'm going to use Internet Explorer. I advise you don't. <laughs> I advise you use anything but Internet Explorer, but I'm going to use it uh, simply f for the fact that most people in do most people do use Internet Explorer. Uh, so best to show what most people use. All right. So the first thing you're going to, you're going to, going to want to do is go to java.sun.com. Um, this will redirect you to the Oracle, who now owns Java. Um, instead of Sun, uh, actually I think Oracle owns Sun completely. Um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to Products, right? Nope, Downloads. Sorry, Java for Developers. So hover over Downloads and go to Java for Developers. Click right there, and now you'll have this web page, which is actually really confusing, uh, even for me. But all you'll want to do is click this button right here, Download. Um, it may not be 7U40 anymore, but get the Java Platform JDK. Uh, you could also get NetBeans, but we're going to be using Eclipse. Um, I'm not a fan of NetBeans. All right, so I always recommend going with the most up-to-date version of Java that you can get. So we're going to click Accept License Agreement, and then you're going to download um, whichever any of these that you need. It this is up to you I don't know what you're running if I were to download it again I would click JDK 7U40 Windows blah 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 this one at the very bottom you would click down here somewhere uh, and if you don't know how to run an installer I would advise you stop watching um, this is a lot more advanced than installing software and if you don't know how to do even that it's best you uh, probably don't do any of the further steps. Okay? I I'm sorry, but you really you're going to be too confused and you're not going to be able to enjoy this if you don't know those things. So please choose wisely before you continue. Um you can install this. Once you've installed that, um it should all be working perfectly fine. There mm, sometimes there's issues. If you have any issues Please feel free to message me, comment, uh, or possibly just ask Oracle, or best case is just Google your problem. I guarantee you somebody else has had it and they can help you. Um, next up we're going to Eclipse.org um, and they changed up their design a little bit but it's okay. We're just going to click downloads and then I would say get Eclipse ID for Java EE developers or Eclipse Standard, uh, either one. I, they changed the logo. I know that. I would go with Eclipse Standard. Uh, but go with, well, as long as you know it'll work for Java, just download either the win, download whatever you need. It should give you Linux, yeah, and it, Coco. So whatever you need, just download it. All right. Um, it'll come in a zip format. You'll need to unzip it, uh, which if you don't know how to do that again, I'm sorry, but I can't help you. <laughs> uh, just unzip it or 
extract the files depending on your OS and how it treats files and then run eclipse.exe or dot whatever or in Linux's case just Eclipse um, and it should run alright so I just made a new workspace um, it will ask you to make a workspace uh, and when you open it make the workspace in whatever you folder you want but this is where all your projects will be saved so make sure it's somewhere you can remember and it's okay alright so the first thing that I'll open up is something at least similar to this um, probably a little different and then you can close that main thing it's completely useless and you have all these windows everywhere they're just floating around it looks really confusing right alright well we're gonna spend the rest of the time for this episode fixing up um, this and making it easier to read so we're gonna close this markers properties servers data source explorer and snippets we're also gonna close outline and task list and we're going to minimize this project explorer we're also going to go to uh, window show view console and we're going to Oh, we might just be able to min all right, minimize it and then drag it down to here. The reason we're doing this is because this is the setup I'm used to. Um, you can set up however you want, but I, I do recommend this. Um, and window, open perspective. Next thing you want to do is window, open perspective, Java. Um, now you're going to want to do all of that again, but the reason we're doing this twice is because it is two different perspectives which means two different settings um, so it helps to have them both the same but they're used for different scenarios no not over there over here no no console okay watch <laughs> it just does not want to cooperate Nope, nope, you had it, you had it, you had, no, nope. there we go. Alright, so now it's open and correct. Okay, now that we have Java and Java EE set up, we want to be in Java. You almost always want to be in Java, uh, but it just helps to be there. Uh, we're going to do, mm, yeah, we'll, we'll start on this. We're going to make a new project. This project is what we will begin with for... Now we'll make another project in the next episode when we actually begin a game. But we're, what we're going to do is click this button. Uh, we're going to click Java Project and Next. I'm going to name it uh, Hello World. And this is nothing to do with games, guys. This is just teaching you the logic. Or this is just teaching how to use the IDE right now. Use the default location. I would use your execution environment um, and you want to create separate folders don't touch these settings you can click next and you can do a whole bunch of stuff to make it better here uh, but I recommend not touching any of this until you're more advanced and you know exactly what you're doing alright so in here we have the Java uh, the Java runtime environment system library that's basically Java itself and we're going to want inside this source folder SRC stands for source. We're going to want to create a new class. Now, what is a class? Well, a class, um, sorry, I was checking behind me. A class is a Java program file, source code file. What's source code? It's the code that people write. Okay, I'm going to give a quick lesson. This is going to be a long episode. I'm sorry. Not all the episodes will be this long, but to kick off a series, and this is sort of also celebrating getting to 500 subscribers, thank you guys a ton, uh, it means a lot. But I'm not going to go into that tirade right now. We're going to go through a quick lesson. Alright, so computers, everything they do, everything they read, even this YouTube video that you're watching right now, in a computer, the computer is reading ones and zeros a lot of them and it's taking those ones and zeros and it's taking other ones and zeros that tell the computer how to interpret these ones and zeros and it's making stuff happen in this case it's making my voice 
uh, come through your speakers or headphones or whatever you have, and it's making my image appear, and it's making my computer screen recording thing appear in this YouTube video. That's what all those ones and zeros are doing together. But there used to be a day when people themselves would write out these ones and zeros called binary format. Binary means one or zero, on, off, true, false. They would take these binary numbers and they would program and code all these ones and zeros and they'd know what it does. I'm sorry, I don't have time to learn about different combinations of ones and zeros. So what did these genius people do that were typing these ones and zeros to make cool stuff happen? Well, they made other languages. They made languages. First one, I believe, first main big one was assembly. And the assembly was outstanding back then. It was a way for people to type more human readable English and then it gets compiled down to ones and zeros and then the computer can read it. So it was a, it's a bridge. Then came C, which is even better. It gave the programmer more power and it was even more readable and it was a better bridge. Then there was C++ and all, and okay, basically since then, there have been made thousands of programming languages and scripting languages and other languages that can be compiled down to a more basic form, or in the case of scripting languages, sometimes they're just parsed. But in Java's case, it's compiled, compiled down to a more simple form, which is then read by an execution environment and that execution environment takes the like sort of halfway readable by humans thing which was originally a clap oh I'm losing anyway it takes that file the compiled file and it reads through it and it changes it to and it understands it and sends ones through zeros to the computer and the computer then executes it but we write class files which is what gets compiled down a level um, we write class files, which are very easy for humans to read, typically, and they're much more simple for us to use. It's a better bridge in between the world of ones and zeros and human intellect and language. So that's what a class file is. So we're going to name this class program um, because we're great at this and we're going to click this checkbox down here public static void main string arcs I'm going to explain this better in the next episode um, because I don't want this episode being like a half hour long uh, but just understand right now that what this method mm, I'll, ex I'll explain methods briefly right now a method is basically a group of code inside a larger piece of code that runs something. We're going to go over this Hello World program that we're making right now next episode, and then in the episode after that, maybe we'll finally get to the real thing. Uh, but I'm just going to show you guys that I just want to show you guys how to do this so you can test it and make sure everything's set up right on your system. Uh, we're going to get rid of this comment. Actually, no, I'll leave the comment there to show you guys even that much more. And all we're going to do is write system.out.println hello world this is my very first Java program okay we're just gonna write that uh, you can fill in he actually no just type exactly what I typed uh, for right now everything in detail and before we run this I'm going to have us go through some preferences so click window at the top and go to preferences um, general appearance colors and fonts. I believe somewhere in here is where I can change Java editor, edit I think this is yeah okay I'm gonna change it to size 20 hopefully you guys can read this better now okay so size 20 and we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna go to Windows preferences editors uh, where is it text editors all right general editors text editors and in here we want to check this box that says show line numbers line numbers are extremely helpful as you can see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten right now 
um, we just want to make sure we have all those line numbers there all right so hello this is my very first Java program just type exactly this you should only have to type this line out right now everything else should have been automatically generated for you now we're going to press this play button at the top we want to save that yes and over here um, I wonder if there's a way I can change the settings for the size down there window preferences let's see workspace appearance colors and fonts Java doc there we go edit this font we're gonna edit it just to be 16 a little smaller no not right okay I'll figure out this later uh, but right now it reads hello world this is my very first Java program awesome right you guys got your first program running if you guys got that down here if it says this down here then you guys got everything installed and downloaded correctly great job if not maybe rewatch the video once or twice see what you might have done wrong go to Google ask some questions there comment on the video ask me it's up to you any way you want to go through this I recommend going to Google first because I might take longer to reply to you than you could have just Google searched and figured out your problem that way all right so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video also hit the like or dislike button corresponding to are you excited for this series did I do do a good job of starting it out and where would you like it to go further please comment below what what can we do for our first game keep it simple don't go like oh I want to make the next call of duty no and don't don't say something like I want to make Terraria either okay yeah Terraria is 2d but no <laughs> uh, we're gonna start small think like Pong uh, Pac-Man actually Pac-Man's even probably too big Pac-Man okay go smaller than Pong for our first game because I'm going to just teach simple basics first I think I'll decide later oh well just comment below alright I'm going to try to roll these episodes out really really fast every day um, at, as often as I possibly can to get this series rolling but for now thank you for watching and I will catch you guys later